Here's an oak here, Clark. Blew down in uh, January last year. That was January the 7th. There were strong gale force winds that night. The wind blows do come down quite regularly. And normally we're quite keen to leave timber like this lying on the forest floor because it increases biodiversity and gives habitat for yeah. a lot of uh, woodland creatures. The fire are strung up in nice now. Why don't I think? They get to do their job all right. Where, where do you think? Over a hundred years old. Hundred years, goodness me, it'll find us. But the trunk's too wide, so this uh, branch here, um, hopefully it hasn't got too many knots in it. I would need quite straight grain for when I go to split it with a the wee bit peppy and say, but whether or not there's much burrs, but even the likes like that. So you look for six inch wide or more yeah. boards. Mm -hmm. When it comes to chair legs and things like that, you'll we'll nip it off to here mind. somewhere. Uh, you cut them around here. Somewhere. There's a quality to oak that I think it's unmatched we're in its strength. This job we're doing, we're probably looking, if we can get a, a centre beam of that, you're probably looking about three of those, and then whatever pullets is in it. So. That's about 20, well, there's quite a lot of slow growth. That's when you were born about here, wasn't it? 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably planted before you were born, was it? Oh, it smells gorgeous. Uh, yeah, I said a wee bit before I was born. I prefer oak. It must be to do with uh, history in school. They used oak for building boats, they used oak for building houses. Unfortunately, that's what depleted a lot of the oak forests, was the fact that all the wars and everything. Even Ireland, at one time we had a lot of oak forest here, which was all chopped down and sent to England. There was a story that you could have stepped on the trunks from Dungivern to Tombridge, you could have walked on the stumps of the oak trees where they were cut down, the oak forest was that big, but we don't have that anymore. A lot of hardwoods are very, very strong in different ways, but that's because they grow into a fibre, which oak eventually does when it's too old. But when you have young oak, maybe 70, 80 years of age, it is a beautiful grain and it is a long straight grain and it has superior strength to anything else that we can use. There's a family tradition that, that I go back, my great grandfather was a wheelwright, but he was also the local carpenter. I had the choice, I could have been a bricklayer, as my father is, and a brother, I could have been a plaster, but I just chose wood, I thought it was more fulfilling. If you think about a poor old tree, he stood in the one spot for about 80 or 100 years, well, and longer, when he's yeah. cut, they spread all over the place oh, absolutely. now. Absolutely, scattered from one place to another. It is, all right. When I see a trunk being sawn, sometimes, you know, you think to yourself, gosh, I hope this came out the right way. You also look at it with anticipation sometimes, because when you cut into a log, you just don't know what it's going to turn out like. I'm one of eight children. I'm number seven. There wasn't a terrible lot of money about when we were growing up. It was always, if you wanted something new, you know, well, my mum would go, sure, you could make that. <laughs> you know, you maybe wanted a new dress or something that someone else has, some of your friends had, but sure, you could make that. So I think that growing up, it was really, we we're always making things. I just love the look of oak. It is my favourite wood. I love to see it in furniture. I love to see the different grain, the openness of some of the grain, the denseness on the darkness of the heartwood. At school, I wasn't able to do woodcraft because I went to an all-girls convent school. Uh, so it wasn't until later that I actually got interested in wood. I'm now a craft teacher of technology and design. Really, there's not 
a lot of woodcraft done in school anymore because the woodwork has sort of gone by the wayside. It's really because of the new curriculum, it's technology and design, there's more new materials using, still use a bit of metal, but mostly plastics. Just nice sweet fine shaving smatsy because it's now nice and round, so you've just to smooth it off a wee tiny bit. The tree is part of my life as much as I am part of its life. It's uh, just like a North American sort of spiritualism um, that, uh, you know, there's a spirit in every rock, tree, plant, animal, and we share that. And if you're going to create an imbalance, you ignore that. I tend to look for a balance. People don't say, what's alder, what's birch, you know, and they, they know what oak is. It's in the name of the country, it's in any dairy. Every time you cut into a bit of wood, and there's times you cut into it, it's a real disappointment. You'll cut it open and it's rotten inside, and it's, or it's just bland. And there's time to cut it open and it's absolutely fabulous. Every piece that I've been making will be different, irrespective of whether the wood is, whether it's oak, whether it's ice, whether it's iron, whatever it happens to be, the wood itself starts off as being different. And then everything I'm doing is freehand after that. I was a civil engineer. And I don't know whether it's because with civil engineering, it's all steel and concrete and it's quantifiable. And, you, and it's generally straight lines and rulable lines. But now, with the type of work that I'm doing now with this particular wood, it's all very natural. Which is just the opposite of what I was previously doing. It was that kind of organic shape thing that appealed to me. This natural shapes, the natural edges, the very fluid shapes rather than straight lines. Oak for trusses and beams, you're using very, very, well, ancient techniques that go back hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Green oak is basically not dried. It, it, it's timber that's failed in the forest, or sometimes it, it's a wind shake, they're, they're brought down. The beauty about working with it is the older a bit of oak gets, the harder it gets. Uh, whereas green oak, it's it's like cutting cheese. I mean, it's one of the nicest woods to work with. I mean, you can put your chisels into it, and it just pours off with a lovely straight edge. And that, that's that's hard to get. If, if you kill and dry the wood, you won't get that. I mean, it's it's really really hard. It keeps changing over the years. It's I suppose it's like it's like us. It's like human people. But it grows old. Uh, it's even after it's cut down, it's still a living, growing thing. I suppose you know. But that's what I love about it is the changes in it.